clearly talking about in paragraph one, construction. The next paragraph, it says the center would cost an estimated 300 to 375 per year to operate, said Ryan. He's quoting our cost consultant in this case. Um, so again, it was pointed out to the public that there would be an annual operating deficit. Then another article, May 16th, says the Arts Center, and this is in this bill we've heard article in the Indianapolis Star, uh, before the council vote, so everybody knew about it, the Arts Center scheduled to open in 2008 would cost an estimated three to 375,000 per year to operate. This is again, he's referring to the year of stable operations after the startup. Then on September 17, 2005, an article in the Indianapolis Star by Leslie Rogers Barrett. And I'm quoting from about the fourth paragraph. The city will pay for the center with money generated from commercial growth in the tax incremental financing district, or TIF. But the Performing Arts Center, which will be run by a not-for-profit board, will need money each year to operate the center. No suggestion that it would operate without taxpayer money. We said we would build it without residential taxpayer money. Never said that it would be operated that way. In fact, you can't operate it with TIF money under state law. And then, a news release, March 23rd, 2006, the next year. It's a city news release. And this is one's titled City Center Groundbreaking. March 23rd, 2006. About the second page, let me quote this sentence. The fact that this development is being funded by tax incremental financing dollars also appeals to residential population as their property tax dollars are not being used to develop the project. Develop being a synonym for build. It didn't say anything about operations. Then, in a news release on February 12th, 2007, no residential, and this is me again quoted, no residential property taxes are being used to build a center. The funds come from increases in commercial taxes in the designated economic development areas. Again, clearly stating build, not operate. And on March 13th, 2007, City Center release, we made it clear that the TIF funds used for the project were, quote, not from residential property taxes, and that the TIF funds went toward public infrastructure requirements. And I stated, no residential property taxes are being used in this project. The project is part of the tax increment financing. Um, district that was specifically designed to offer assistance to projects by using the increased tax revenue to support the project's public infrastructure requirements. Again, talking about building the infrastructure, not about operating the facility. For instance, we built parking garages. Uh, the, uh, just last year, the Redevelopment Commission paid for a rebuilding of a street, but the city maintains that street. We can't maintain it out of TIF dollars, the same as the concert hall. And then August 12, 2009, and I know you were at this. I remember you being at this press conference, a news conference, John. Um, August 12, 2009, we're announcing that Stephen Woodman's going to be our executive director. And I pulled the tape, and we transcribed I transcribed it. And what I said was what we wanted to do was set up an institution to manage and operate the hall, to take the burden off the city of Carmel and the taxpayers. And that's true. It's always been a goal to try to raise private money. But then I go on, recognizing that it will need seed money and startup money. There has never been any representation that we would not need startup money or seed money. And the statement that you made, Mr. S. Terrell, that said, I promised that we do it without seed money or startup money, just isn't accurate. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. S. Terrell.